Dynonite staple for Aiken osteotomy. A linear incision is made horizontally over the proximal phalanx of the great toe. A saw is used to create a closing wedge osteotomy. The lateral cortex is preserved to enhance the stability of the osteotomy. The dynonite sizing guide is used to determine the correct dynonite staple size. Turning the inserter handle clockwise, the dynonite staple legs are open from an inward position to a parallel position. The dynonite drill guide is centered across the osteotomy site. A 1.6 mm dynonite drill bit is used to drill the first hole in the proximal portion of the osteotomy site. The drill bit is laser marked to help drill to the correct depth. If desired, a dynonite alignment pin is inserted through the drill guide into the first drilled hole. A second hole is drilled on the distal portion of the fusion site. If desired, a second alignment pin may be used. The alignment pins are removed from the drilled holes. The drill guide is held against the cortical surface in order to maintain the location of the drill holes. Using the windows on the drill guide, the staple legs are inserted into the drilled holes. The drill guide is then removed. Using the staple inserter, advance the staple legs into the drill holes until the device is seated against the bone. Once the staple is seated against the bone, the inserter knob is turned counterclockwise to release the tension between the staple and the inserter. The inserter is slid away from the staple. The dynonite tamp is used to fully seat the staple against the cortical surface. The low-profile dynonite staple is seated flush to the cortical surface. The incision is closed and a compressive dressing is applied.